So what is a code review? A code review is essentially when you have full access to the documentation and the code base of an application and you have a free hand to traverse the application source code and try and find some anti-patterns or insecure uses of some vulnerable functions that are specific to the application, to the language, to the tech stack. But why do you even do code reviews? First of all, it's faster than pen testing. All you need is the code and the documentation and you can get started. Moreover, you can get more coverage with a code review than with pen testing because in pen testing, it's pretty much black box, right? There's a lot of guesswork involved. But with code reviews, you know what there is, what there isn't. So you don't have to go around, do a lot of guesswork, a lot of recon. Compliance, always. Same for pen testing and code reviews. These are just parts of compliance. So definitely finding complex bugs. So you can find complex bugs with pen testing as well. But here's the thing. There's a lot of guesswork involved, right? You're poking around the system. You're trying to create a mental model and trying to map out all the features of the application. But with code review, you're already given a free hand. It's very easy to find and chain multiple exploit primitives, basically vulnerabilities with not much impact in themselves. But when chained together, they can form a lot of impact, right? Which is called a full chain exploit. So it's very easy when you have the code to form a full chain exploit than it is when you're doing pen testing or any sort of black box testing. Fine-tuned DevSecOps tooling. Development and security is shifting left as we speak. There are tons of tooling that are being added to the DevOps pipeline to make sure that vulnerabilities are caught before they even make it to production or even in some cases to dev builds. Some of the tooling in DevSecOps are SAST and DAS. These are not magic bullets. So it's not you can plug it in and just forget about it and it'll fix all your vulnerabilities. No, that's not how it works. You will end up with a tsunami of false positives, right? So how do you get around that, right? How do you make sure that your DevOps tooling is working as intended? You do that by doing an initial code review, so extracting insecure patterns or code patterns, paradigms from your code review, and then using that information to develop custom rule sets so that these tools that are running, they will get maximum coverage and not emit false positives, which are exclusive to your code base, right? So you don't want these tools to be running like a generic scanner. You want them to be fine tuned to your code base spotting backdoors. Now this is exclusively human. There is no SaaS tool right now, which guarantees spots backdoors. If you look at some famous backdoors from like last two years, we can look at the exe backdoor, right? What happened there was Microsoft employee. They were basically performance testing open SSH and they happened to notice that it was taking more time than usual to perform some connections or operations, right? They looked into the code base and that's how they figure out that, Hey, this is not right. This is a backdoor. So definitely spotting backdoors, there is no other way. There is no alternative to human eye over code.